All right, so in the last video, I showed you guys how to sign in a Homestyler with your Google account, and then also how to create a design template and save that. So what we're gonna start off today is obviously we need to sign back into Homestyler. So remember, you can go up to sign in, right in the top right corner, and then you can simply sign in with your Google account. After you're signed in, you can again go to start designing. And what we want to do is we have to find our template that we saved um, previously. If you didn't log out and you're doing this all at once, obviously your template will still be open. But if not, I will show you how to access that. So underneath my designs, when this opens up, you should see whatever you titled your designs. So I just titled mine my house. So underneath my designs, you just hover over this. And then down here, whatever you title. Now, this is going to be your workspace. One thing to keep in mind is this does not save automatically, so you do have to click save every so often. But to get started, I had posted on Google Classroom the requirements that you need for your house. Keep in mind, these are minimum requirements. You can go above and beyond this, you can do as much as you want. You just have to have a minimum of these listed items here, okay? So to get started, before we start um, actually drawing, you need to think ahead, well, what do I want my house to have? Maybe you want four bathrooms, maybe you want five bedrooms, maybe you want two living spaces. So first, kind of in your mind, think of that. And you might have to play around with this a little bit, but basically, this is your workspace. To get started drawing your rooms, up here at the top, it says create room. And then I like to do draw room, that keeps everything square. So if you click on draw room, you can then take your um, cursor on your Chromebook, laptop, whatever you're using, and you can simply click and drag this out for however big you want this to be, okay? So let's say I wanted this to be my living room, or my kitchen. However big you want that, narrow, wide, you can simply click that, okay? It will give you the square footage uh, right underneath the unnamed space. Okay, so remember, I have some requirements set for you for how big things need to be. Remember, everything is at least 200 square feet. So if I wanted this room to be my uh, living room, do I have a minimum of 200 square feet? I do. This is 323 square feet, so this would be within those requirements. You can either. Um, need to go up to draw room otherwise it actually as long as this is selected you can continue to draw your spaces so if you wanted to maybe draw a room off of that um, you could do so as well um, but basically this is how you would continue drawing um, your spaces okay now we're not worrying right now about adding uh, furniture we're not worried about adding windows doors wall openings that will come in the next video all I want you to focus on today is simply drawing out your design. Now, if you look closely, and you can zoom in down in the right corner here, I should probably highlight that. So down in the right side here, this is your zoom, okay? So obviously to zoom in and out, you can zoom in, zoom out, okay? Now notice on here how this doesn't line up. I clicked that too uh, early, but now my walls don't line up. That's gonna be a problem when I try to add my wall opening. So if you ever make a mistake, you look up in the top, you can click undo, and that will undo the last thing that you did. I can go back and I can redraw that room up. Okay. So I think that should be enough to leave you today. The only thing you need to pay attention to is making sure you have a minimum, so at least these requirements listed on classroom, and then obviously looking at your square footage. Now, so you know what room is what, the last thing I'm going to show you is how to title your room. So instead of leaving this as an unnamed space, let's say I wanted this to be my living room, I simply can click on that room and it'll highlight. And then over here, after I've clicked on it, it'll say room type. You can click on this little drop down and then you can go ahead and title that. Okay, so let's say I wanted this room, I'll show you one more time. I want this to be my, uh, let's say, bathroom. That's a pretty big bathroom, but we'll say it is. I can click here, and then I could title this bathroom. Okay, so again, this is your square footage. 
Remember, you have to have a minimum of what I've listed on classroom. And then obviously you have to have a minimum of rooms. Now you can go above and beyond. If you want to make, you know, 15 different rooms in your house, because this is some dream home of yours, feel free to go for it. But all you need to complete today is getting your layout completed for your house. In videos to come, I will show you how to add doors, windows, wall openings, furniture, appliances, things like that. The only other thing you need to complete then after you um, have your design done for today is just make sure on the post that you've commented here, um, and that is for attendance purposes. And then obviously when you're done working, you can go ahead and click right up here where it says save. It'll say saving, and then now it says your design has so let me know if you have any questions on that, and that will be it for class today.